I'm going to do a video today to show you how to take the door handles off your Range Rover Evoque. This is the same for the Range Rover Sport, the Range Rover L405, the big Range Rover, the Discovery Sport. It's all the same sort of thing. In fact, it's pretty much identical. Um, so this is the sort of door handle you'll have. And when you take it off, this is what you'll be left with. Um, it's good if you're wrapping the car or you want to upgrade to the autobiography sort of two-piece handles where you've got the sort of body colour strip running down the middle there. Um, there we go. Maybe you just want to really clean your car and get in behind. Right, so when you open your door, the, the trick is we've got to remove this little bit first. So we've got obviously the little bit which is fixed and the moving big bit. And what you'll find on every door you open, somewhere or other, depending on the vehicle, there'll be, hard to see on my black car, we should have got a different colour car, there's a little rubber grommet there. So let me just put my hands full of tools. All right. You see all right? Yep. Yeah, all right. So we've got to try and just ease that grommet out, so I'll just get under there. Get your sim fairly tight. Oh, look at that. So that's a little... Hmm. Oh, I've got one there already, there you go. So it's plastic actually, not rubber, isn't it? Mm. Um, so there we go, we'll pop that out. Right, let me chuck those down. Right, so then, what we're going to do, if we look in there, which you might have a go at, and do you want to see if you can, can you see that on the camera there? We're looking for a little screw head in there. Now it's a way in, I'll show you how far it's in. And it's a little Torx thing. Now, if you just look from above in, the thing I want to emphasise here, you're not going straight in parallel to the door skin, you're going in at an angle because that screw goes into the back of this little bit. So let's have a look. So let's have a look. And it's a Torx T25. So that's the angle we're going in at. I don't know if you can see that. So we're not going in square to the door, it's quite a slope because it comes into the back corner of this, okay? So, oh, there we go. We haven't had this one off yet. So this is. Not one of our highly professional pre-rehearsed videos, this one. Right, and so there we go, take that out. Now, there is a little screw in here, and there is a chance of losing it in the door card. So you don't want a highly magnetic screwdriver in here. Um, it will stay, it sits in a little tube, but you don't want to pull it out. You want to try and shake it off a bit before you pull it out. Um, and then what we should better do is pull this small bit. Let's give ourselves a bit more room to move that comes out. So, okay, ours have got these chrome covers on. Um, there you go, look at that. Um, but that's what you can do. Let's have a look where that screw comes in, look. So we can see it comes in at an angle like so, and that's the screw we're taking out. Do you want to have a look, see if you can see the bit in there? You might have to get your torch out and see, or can you just about see him there? Uh, you can just see the end of the bolt. bolt. Right the so he just, he'll sit there quite happily, he won't go anywhere. Um, he's in his little He's in his little tube there, but yeah, we, I guess the, you could lose it in theory. We haven't we haven't tested that theory to the extreme, though, have we? No, we haven't tried to lose it yet. Um, so then we've got the door handle, so it still sort of works, but obviously now the trick is to slide the door handle this way. I think you've got to open it a little bit just to get over that, and then it comes out in your hand. Now, we haven't got the, even though it makes it look, these handle covers we've got, make it look like we've got the old touch opening. Um, we haven't got it. So if you have the touch opening, you'll have a load of wires coming out here and a connector of some description that you'll probably have to work out how to disconnect. Um, There'll probably just be a little push tab on it. Or... A little, yeah. There'll be something to stop it just falling out of its own accord. Some little secret push buttony thing. Whip that out. And there we go, that's it. Now we will do another video to show you now how to strip this down and do some other bits to it. Um, but that's the end of that how to remove your door handle video.